Hi there, I'm Nicole, and we're here in Grid 51 with Joel. Joel. Yay! Yay! And um, we just looked at how we could use big tools, and right now Joel's going to show us some of the smaller tools that we use in archaeology. So, uh, to articulate, or to, I guess articulate's a fancy archaeology word for kind of clear up around, mm -hmm. uh, these uh, pottery shirts, so those are broken pieces of pottery. So what are we going to do first? Well first, we're going to use our fetiche. Looks like a little hammer. And what we'll do is knock away some dirt, just like this, to, use to nice expose these pop shirts. Yeah, nice gentle tapping. Nice gentle tapping. You don't want to slam anything down because you could break it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. And that and has two ends. So yes. this is, you were using this end. What would you use this end for? This end is for more of just uh, right next to this pot shirt. You can get nice and close, close to, to it. it. And, uh, because in, uh, in archaeology, we don't, if something is stuck in the ground, we don't dig around it. We kind of go down one level at a time. Yeah. So yeah. What else do you use? Uh, we also use our trowel. Uh, this is for scraping away dirt at a, there you go, any like, level, it seems. You can more fine than the uh, trowel that we have, or excuse me, the petite. Yeah. Yes. And some of you might have seen these at home, maybe in your garden. One of the big differences between the petitias we have here and the ones you have at home would be size and then, oh, I mean the trowels we have here and the trowels you have at home are the size and then also they're a little pointier. Yeah. So I'm going to clear away some dirt right here just to expose these pop shirts. You use nice and slow, trying not to break anything um, and to see if there's anything around it because you never really know uh, what you're going to find under the dirt. Wow. And this this one keeps going, it seems. <laughs> All right. There we go. And now the next tool that we're going to use is our little brush. Um, if you can see the pot share, you can tell that there's dirt all over it. And we, we can't really see it too well. So what we'll do is brush it away. And one of the funny things archaeologists always say is clean the dirt, clean the dirt. <laughs> uh, it's and it really works. You can see that using that little paintbrush made it so that Joel is able to see that a lot more of that yeah. pot shirt. I originally thought this was one shirt, but now that I see it's about five. Wow. Thanks to the brush. Yeah. And he uses um, a smaller brush as opposed to a bigger brush. If you, um, for this task, because if you use a bigger brush like this, this one, one, you can it just gets everywhere. Yep, and you can sweep away little pieces of pottery. Yeah, we do use this big brush if we're sweeping maybe like the dirt off of a, a longer surface like this, just trying to get it clean so we can see if if there's anything fancy happening. And then you can see, just like the um, brushes you have at home, we use a dust pan here too, just to uh, collect the dirt. Um, because remember, all the dirt has to leave the area we're working in so that we can find new and more exciting things. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. Not a problem.